Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your VerisEdge diagnostic tool and covers the basic setup and controls. Before operating, read and understand the safety warnings within the important safety instructions manual and user manual. Press the power button to get started. The unit turns on and automatically launches the diagnostic software suite. The power button also functions as a power status indicator. Red means the battery needs charging. Blinking red means the tool is in ready mode. Orange means the battery is charging, and green indicates the battery is charged. The power button also indicates when the diagnostic tool is in sleep mode. To enter sleep mode, just press and release the power button. To restart, simply press the power button to continue operation. A capacitive touch screen provides precise menu control and multi-touch gesture capabilities. The S shortcut button can be set up to perform routine functions like capturing a screenshot, taking a photo, or opening the on-screen keyboard. To configure the S button, Press the S yes button. Select the Settings icon from the slide out menu. Choose the function you would like the S yes button to perform. The active setting is indicated within a yellow highlighted box. A stylus is stored in the built in holder. The battery pack, collapsible stand, removable scope multimeter module, and camera lens are also located on the back. A lithium-ion battery pack is used, providing approximately five hours of operation and days of standby power in ready mode. To replace the battery pack, open the stand. Loosen the two battery pack screws, then carefully pull out on the bottom edge of the battery pack and lift it out. The battery pack is installed in the opposite manner. Be sure to only snug up the screws and don't over tighten. External device connection points are located on the left side under the hinged cover in the hand grip. Two USB jacks are provided, a standard 2.0 and a dual mode 2.0, 3.0. These allow connections to a printer, keyboard, mouse, or other devices. A micro USD card slot is provided for extra memory storage. The power supply and headphone jacks are also located under the cover. To avoid damage, use only the AC-DC power supply that came with the diagnostic tool. The scope multimeter module allows you to perform electrical circuit tests and monitor signals. The module docks into the diagnostic tool and is secured with a lock tab. To undock, depress the lock tab and slide the module up to remove it. With the module undocked, it can now be used remotely. Simply connect the supplied USB cable to the diagnostic tool and then to the USB jack on the bottom of the module. The module is equipped with multiple scope multimeter jacks. For testing up to four signals at once, and an auxiliary DB9 connector for connecting the optional RPM inductive pickup. The scan module connects to the vehicle data link connector, or DLC, then wirelessly transmits vehicle data to the diagnostic tool. The scan module must be paired with the diagnostic tool in order to communicate. If the wireless signal is lost, an audible alarm will sound and a warning message is displayed. The signal will automatically restore itself when the devices are brought within operating range of each other. This module contains the following connections and indicators. Data cable connector, green Bluetooth LED, red communication issue LED, and green vehicle power LED. The memory card and USB ports can be accessed by removing the protective hand grip. 
Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Click here to watch the next module in this Training Solutions series. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.